Welcome back to Ask a Hawk for episode 21 in 2016. Uh, we're a long way through the season now and apologies for Friday night. We uh, didn't put up our best performance, but uh, hopefully we can win our next four games, I think it is, and um, that means we'd be uh, winning a grand final if we could. But uh, we've got a very popular member of the Hawthorne Football Club here. Um, questions have come from everywhere. A couple of teammates, a couple of ex-teammates, and... Uh, Probably a couple of mates from you. Did you just get everyone to uh, write in, Liam Shields? Well, some of the questions that I've looked at, uh, yeah, I thought I might know them, but I don't actually. They're, they're heckling me and I don't even know them, so that's not a good start. Well, you're an easy guy to heckle. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> and uh, we've got another Mark Pittnett on here. He uh, doesn't say much. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, you're me, Pitt, eh? <laughs> Yeah. No, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll rip into it. Uh, we've got Louise... I think she went to your old high school, uh, Aquinas, is it, out uh, New South Wales way? Um, it says there's pictures of everywhere. Uh, does that creep you out at the school? Oh, New South Wales? Well, it's on the other side of the eastern. <laughs> Just in Ringwood, mate. It's a ge <laughs> geographical centre of Melbourne at the minute. It's booming out there. But, uh, yeah, I loved Aquinas. Uh, I didn't know they had a heap of pictures of me out there, but thanks for the support. Beautiful. <laughs> thanks, Liam. Uh, We've got a teammate uh, riding in, a, a young teammate, so he's obviously uh, pretty confident around you. He said, "How upset was the Olympics? How upset were you when the Olympics started and you couldn't watch Home and Away for two weeks?" <laughs> Blake Hardwick. Yeah, I saw. I watched your show actually a couple of weeks ago when you had him on, and he threw me under the bus and said that I watched Home and Away. That's not the case. Um, he stayed with me for a week and every night he made sure that we watched Home and Away. Um, it was the worst half an hour of my night, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he loved it. So he still watches it and I can't believe that he threw me under the bus because I don't think I've watched it in about 10 years, Isaac. Yeah, it's a horrible show, Liam. Uh, we've got uh, Brendan Whitecross. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, I think everyone around the club knows that you love a horse ride. Yeah. Uh, you're a romantic kind of guy. So, where's Liam's favourite place for a romantic horse ride? Yeah, well, how it all started, I took my beautiful girlfriend Claire for a horse ride for a date. Uh, I think it was back in 2009, so Whitey's got a long memory there, and the boys <laughs> haven't let me forget it, but I think the last time I went horse riding was with, uh, was with you, wasn't it, Isaac? I don't even know if I was on a horse, mate. My feet were touching <laughs> the ground. <laughs> in Fiji, so yeah, I think you're on a pony, but uh, yeah, I don't mind a little bit of horse riding. Oh, I hate it, and I'm never going again. We've got Shana. Uh, when will you change your 2014 hairstyle? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question where I thought that was on you, Shana, but I don't actually. Um, the boys heckle me about my haircuts a fair bit. Um, I changed the barber a fair bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, watch this space. I might mix it up a little bit for finals. Ah, lovely. We've got Jonathan Simkin, as everyone would know. Uh, he said you'd call yourself Jordan Belfort. <laughs> That is a lie. He's just completely made that up. Uh, I think if anyone's going to be Jordan Belford, it's going to be Joffrey. Loves a few specky shares. He does, doesn't he? We've got uh, Jared, not Jared. Not Jared. Uh, Jared Gunn. When you, arri when you arrived at the club in 2008, what players did you look up to in your first year and who probably gave you the best advice? Yeah, there were a few. Uh, a few guys that aren't here anymore. Rick Ladson and Chance Bateman were great for me. Also, Brad Sewell uh, played a similar position to me, so I worked a fair bit with Sully, but um, yeah, we're pretty lucky here today. I uh, look, up, look up to Sam Mitchell and blokes like that, uh, pick their brains and uh, get as much info out, out of those guys as possible. But yeah, the guys that I mentioned earlier, Rick Ladson, Brad Sewell and Chance Bateman helped me a fair bit along the way. Gee, that was a long time ago, mate. It was a long time. It was back in 2009 when I was horse riding, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, Donna Ling. What is your best and or worst favourite AFL moment or least favourite or? Oh, the least favourite was definitely the 2012 grand final when we lost to Sydney. Uh, I think you'd think the same, Izzy. It was a pretty uh, pretty tough time, but yeah, to come out and win the next three um, kind of eased the pain a little bit. And uh, probably the, the first one, the first premiership was probably one of, one of my favourite moments, um, especially after, as I said, losing in 2012 to get that first premiership was pretty special. Yep. I can agree with that. And last one, we've got Ryan. 
I don't know if it's um, your good mate Ryan Shaw makers. It's Ryan Smitty, so maybe Shaw. Yeah, nice sending him. Who are the hardest players you've had to tag in the AFL? What might you expect when you're tagging them? Yeah, well, Gary Ablett's always hard to tag. I mean, he's going to get 30 possessions no matter what. You just kind of got to limit his influence. But um, I had a run with Roll on Lockie Neal this year, and I probably didn't um, think he was as good as he is. Um, he was probably the hardest player I've had to play on this year. He just gets so much of the footy and um, so strong around the contest. So Lockie Neal is probably an underrated player of the competition for mine. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one I didn't expect. But uh, as you said, um, he's been playing outstanding footy at the moment. So... Lucky we don't have to come up against him in the finals. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there'll be a few other guys that are pretty tough opponents, but uh, yeah, we don't have to come up against Lockie. I thought you were going to say there'd be some guys out there that are pretty nervous that they have to come <laughs> up against you. That's uh, not me, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> well, Liam, thanks for joining us on Ask Hawk. I think this is now your second or third trip to uh, the couch. Yeah, the number one rating show. And yeah. the, the only show left on Hawks TV. <laughs> is it? How did your show go, the one that you were hosting? Uh, Ultimate Athlete, yeah, it was good. Uh, we lost suckers, so we couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, so they didn't think of replacing him? No, it was nothing to do with ratings or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Matt was telling me before, if things don't rate well enough on Hawks TV, they just cut them. <laughs> oh, well... Is that true, Matt? <laughs> and, and I'm I'm guessing I'm I'm guessing uh Ultimate Athlete, was it? Is that what it was? Yeah, Ultimate Athlete, yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing that they didn't have sponsors, did they? Yeah, we did actually. Uh Farmers Union Ice Coffee. Oh no, it was Barista Brothers Ice Coffee. Oh yeah, they jumped off pretty quick, didn't they? <laughs> I didn't see any free ice coffee. So we've had a long standing uh sponsor here at Ask a Hawk. It's Victoria Responsible Gambling Foundation. So, you know, they're all jumping on board. We had the last piece do a couple of special uh, segments down there because they jumped on board. Um, we're just killing it here, mate. So thanks for joining and um, hopefully we're building your profile to uh, where you need it to be. <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs>